Ulysses by James Joyce, section 18a. This is a LibriVox recording. All LibriVox recordings are in the public domain. For more information, or to volunteer, please visit LibriVox.org. Recording by Lauren Costanza, Jack Evans, Jennifer Hillcowker, Krista Manning, Kara Repert, Dan Weber, and Cassandra Westover. Yes. Yes. yes, because, because he, he never did, did a thing like that before, as asked to get his breakfast in bed with a couple of eggs. Couple of eggs. Since the City Arms Hotel, when he used to be pretending to be laid up with a sick voice. Doing, doing his highness to make himself interesting for that old faggot, Mrs. Reardon. That he thought he had a great leg. That he thought he had a great leg up. She never left us far all for masses. All for masses. For herself and her soul. Greatest miser ever was. Actually, actually afraid to lay out 4D for her methylated spirit. Telling me all her ailments. She had too much old chat in her. About politics and earthquakes and the end of the world. Let us have a bit of fun. God help the world if all the women were her sort. Down on base. Bathing suits and low necks. Of course, nobody wanted her to wear them. Suppose she was pious because no man would look at her twice. I hope I'll, I hope I'll never be like I wonder her. she didn't want us to cover she our didn't faces. Want to cover her face. But she was a well-educated woman, she certainly, and her gabby talk about Mr. Reardon here and Mr. Reardon's there. I suppose he was glad to get shut of her. And her dogs snowing my fur and always edging to get up under my petticoat. Especially then. Especially then. Still, I like that in him. Polite to old women like that, and waiters and beggars, too. He's not proud out of nothing, but not always. If ever he got anything really serious the matter with him, it's much better for them to go into a hospital where everything is clean. But I suppose I'd have to bring it into him for a month. Yes, and then he'd have a hospital nurse next thing on the carpet. Have him staying there till they throw him out, or a nun maybe. Like the smutty photo he has. She's as much a nun as I am not. Yes, 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 because they're so weak, weak and puling when they're sick and they want a woman to they get well. They want a woman to get his well. Bleeds, if his nose bleeds, you'd think it was, oh, tragic. And that, and that dying looking one off the South Circular, when he sprained his foot at the choir party at the Sugarloaf Mountain the day I wore that dress. Miss Stack bringing him flowers, the worst old ones she could find at the bottom of the basket. Anything at all to get into a man's bedroom. With her old maid's voice trying to imagine him dying on account of her. To never see that face again. He looked, he looked more, more like a man with his beard a bit grown. In the bed, the bed father father was the same. same. Besides, Besides, I hate, I hate bandaging and dosing. When, when he, he cut, cut his toe with the razor, pairing corns, afraid he'd get blood poisoning. Blood poisoning. But, but, but if it was a thing I was saying, then sick. we'd see what then attention. We'd see what attention. Only, of course, the woman hides it not to give all the trouble they do. Yes, he came somewhere, I'm sure, by his appetite. Anyway, love it's not, or he'd be off his feet thinking of her. So either it was one of those night women, if it was down there, he was really, and the hotel story he made up, a pack of lies to hide it, planning it. Planning it. Hines, Hines, Hines kept me. Who did I meet? I guess I met. Do you remember Menton? Do you remember Menton? Who, well, who, who let me see that big baby face? I saw him, and he not long married, flirting with a young girl at Poole's Miriorama. And turned my back on I turned my back on him, and he slinked out looking quite conscious. What harm? But he had the impudence to make up to me one time. Well done to him, loved Almighty in his boiled eyes. All the big stupas I ever met. I ever met. And that's called a solicitor only for a heavy having or else if it's not that it's some little bitch or other who got in with somewhere or picked up on the spot. If they only knew him as well as I do. If they only knew him as well as I do. Yes, because the day before yesterday he was scribbling something, a letter. letter. When I came into the front room to show him Dignam's death in the papers, as if something told me, and he covered it up with the blotting paper, pretending to be thinking about business. So very probably that was it, to somebody, somebody who thinks she has a softy in him. Because all men get a bit like that at his age. Especially getting on to 40. He is now. So as to wheedle any money she can out of him. No fool like an old fool. Then the usual kissing my bottom was to hide it. But I care to hear straws now who he does it with. I knew before that. I would like to find out so long as I don't have the two of them under my nose all the time like that slut. That Mary we had in Ontario Terrace patting out her false bottom to excite him bad enough to get the smell of those painted women off him. Once or twice I had a suspicion by getting him to come near me when I found the long hair on his coat. Without that one, without that one, when I went into the kitchen pretending. 
they need is drinking water. One woman is not enough for them. It was all, it was all his fault. His fault. His fault. Servants and proposing that she could eat at our table on Christmas Day. If, if you please. Oh, no, thank you. Not in my house. Stealing my potatoes and the oysters. Two six per dozen. Going out, Going out to see her aunt. aunt. If you please. Common robbery so it was. But I was sure he had something on with that one. It takes me to find out a thing like that, he said. You have you no have proof, no it, was proof it was her. Her aunt was very fond of oysters. Her aunt was very fond of oysters. But I told her what I thought of her. Suggesting me to go out to be alone with her. I wouldn't lower myself to spy on them. The garters I found in her room the Friday she was out, that was enough for me. A little bit too much. Her face swelled up on her with temper when I gave her her weeks notice. I saw to that. I saw to that. I saw to that. Better, do without, better, better do without them all together. Do out the rooms myself. Quick only for the damn cooking and throwing out the dirt. I gave it to him anyhow. Either she or me. I couldn't even touch him if I thought he was with a dirty, barefaced liar and sloven like that one. Denying it up to my face and singing about the place in the WC, too, because she knew she was too well off. Yes, because he couldn't possibly do without it that long. So he must do it somewhere. And when the last time he came on my bottom, when was it? Night Boylan gave my hand a great squeeze. Night Boylan gave my hand a great squeeze, going along by the token in my hand. There steals another. I just pressed the back of his like that. I just of his like that with my thumb to squeeze back singing. Young May Moon, she's beaming love. Because he has an idea about me. He's not such a fool. I'm dining out. He said, I'm dining out and going to the gaiety, though I'm not going to give him the satisfaction. In any case, God knows. Knows he's a change, in a way. Not to be always, to be always never wearing the same way hat. Unless I paid some nice-looking boy to do it, since I can't do it myself. A young boy would like me. I'd confuse him a little, alone with him. If we were, I'd let him see my garter. New ones. New ones. And make him turn red looking at him, seduce him. I know what boys feel with that down in their cheek. Doing that frigging drawing out the thing by the hour. Question and answer. Would you do this, that, and the other with the Coleman? With the Coleman? Yes. With the bishop? Yes, I would. Yes, I would. Because I told him Because I told him about some dean or bishop was sitting beside me in the Jews' temple's gardens when I was knitting that woolen thing. A stranger to Dublin. What place was it? And so on about And so on about the monuments. And he tired me out with statues, encouraging him. Making him worse than he is. Who is your mind now? Tell me who Who is it? Tell me his name. Tell me his name. Who is the German emperor? Who is the German emperor? Yes. Imagine him. Think of him. Can you feel him trying to make a horror of trying to make a horror of me? He ought to give it up now at his age of his life. Simply ruination for any woman, and no satisfaction. No satisfaction. Pretending to like it till he comes, and then finish it off myself anyway. And it makes your lips it makes your lips pale. Anyhow, it's done now, once and for all, with all the talk of the world about it. People make it's only the first time. After that, it's just the ordinary do it and think no more about it. Why can't you kiss a man without going and marrying him first? You sometimes love too wildly when you feel that way. So nice all over you. You can't help yourselves. I wish some, I wish man, some man or other would take me there and kiss me in his arms. Kiss me There's in nothing his like arms. a kiss. Long and hot down to your soul. Almost paralyzes you. Then I hate that confession when I used to go to Father Corrigan. He touched me, Father. And what harm if he did? Where? And I said, on the canal bank, like a fool. But whereabouts on your, on your person, my child? On the leg behind. High up, was it? Was it? Yes, rather high up. Yes, rather high up. Was it where you sit down? Sit down, yes. Oh, Lord. Couldn't he say bottom right out and have done with it? What has that got to do? And did you... Whatever did you, way you put it, and I forget. No, Father. And I always think of the real Father. What did he what did want he to know, know for when I already confessed it to God? He had a nice fat hand, the palm moist always. I wouldn't mind, wouldn't mind feeling it. Neither would he, I'd say. By the bull neck and his horse collar, I wonder, did he know me in the box? I could see his face. He couldn't see mine. Of course, he'd never turn or let on. Still, his eyes were red when his father died. They're lost for a woman, of course. Must be terrible when a man cries, let alone them. 
I'd like to be embraced by one in his vestments, and the smell of incense off him like the Pope's. Besides, there's no danger with a priest, if you're married. He's too careful about himself. Then he gives something to his holiness, the Pope, for a penance. I wonder, was he satisfied with me? One thing I didn't like is laughing me behind going away so familiarly in the hall. Though I laugh. I'm not a horse or an ass. I I wonder, is he awake thinking of me or dreaming? Am I in it? Who gave him that flower he said he bought? He smells of some kind of drink. Not whiskey or stout or perhaps the sweetie kind of paste they stick their bills up with. Stick their bills Some up liquor with. I'd like to sip. Those rich looking green and yellow yeah, those expensive, expensive drinks. drinks. Those stage Stay store Johnny's drinks. drinks. The opera hats I tasted once. Finger dead of that American, that, American, that, American that, had that had the squirrel. squirrel. Talking, Talking stamps with father. He had all he could do to keep himself from falling asleep after the last time. After we took the port and potted meat. That a fine salty taste. Fine salty taste, yes. yes. Because I felt lovely and tired myself. And fell asleep as sound as a top the moment I popped straight Till that thunder woke me up. Till that thunder woke me up. God be merciful to us, I thought. The heavens were coming down about us. To punish us. When I blessed myself and said a Hail Mary like those awful thunderbolts. Like those awful thunderbolts in Gibraltar. As if the world was coming to an end. And then they come and tell you there's no God. What could you do if it was running and rushing about Only make an act of contrition. Only make an act of contrition. The candle I lit that evening in Whitefriars Street Chapel for the month of May. See, it brought its luck. Though he'd scoff, though he'd scoff if he heard, because he never goes to church mass or meeting. He says, your soul, your soul, you have no soul. Inside, only great man, because he doesn't know what it is to have. Yes, when I lit the lamp. Because he must have come three or four times with that tremendous big red brute of a thing he has. I thought the vein or whatever the dickens they call it was going to burst. So his nose is not so big. After I took off all my things with the blinds down, after my hours dressing and perfuming and combing, it like iron or some kind of thick crowbar standing all the time. He must have eaten oysters. He must have eaten oysters. I think a few dozen. He was in great singing voice. Oh, I never in all my life felt anyone had one the size of that. To make you feel full up. He must have eaten a whole sheep. After, what's the what's idea the of idea making us like that? Like that? With a big, hole, a big in hole in the middle of us, or like a stallion, stallion driving it up into you. you. Because that's all, because they, want that's all they want out of you. With that determined, vicious look in his eye. I had to half shut, shut my eyes. Still, he hasn't such a tremendous amount of spunk in him. When I made him pull out and do it all, considering how big it is, so much the better in case any of it wasn't washed out properly. The last time I let him finish it in me, nice invention they made for women, for him to get all the pleasure. But if someone gave them a touch of it themselves, they'd know what I went through with Millie. Nobody would believe cutting her teeth, too. And Mina Purefoy's husband. Mina Purefoy's husband. Give, Give us a swing, swing out of your whiskers, whiskers filling, filling her up with a child. child or twins once a year, as regular as the clock, always with, always with a smell of children off her. The one they called budgers or something. Like a nigger with a shot of hair on it. Jesus, Jack, the child of the black. The last time I was there, a squatter falling over fall and they bawling at you're, you couldn't hear your, you couldn't ears, hear supposed your ears supposed to be healthy. Not, not satisfied till they have us swollen out like, like elephants, or I don't know what. Supposing I risked having another not off him, though still, if he was married, I'm sure he'd have a fine, strong child. But I don't know. Poldy has more spunk in him. Yes, that'd be awfully jolly. I suppose it was meeting Josie Powell in the funeral. And thinking about me and Boylan set him off. Well, he can well, think what he likes what now. He likes that'll now. do him any good. Any good. I, know I know they were spooning a bit when I came on the scene. Dancing and he was dancing, he was dancing and sitting, and out, with sitting out with her the night of, the night of Georgina Simpson's, Simpson's housewarming. House house and, and then he wanted to ram it down my neck. It was on account of not liking to see her a wallflower. That was, why that that was why we had to stand up row over politics. He began it, not me. When he said about our Lord being a carpenter, at last he made me cry. Of course, a woman was so sensitive about everything. I was fuming with myself, was fuming with myself after forgiving him. Only for I knew he was gone on me. And the first socialist he said he was. He annoyed me so much. I couldn't put him into a temper. He makes a lot of mixed up things, especially about the body and the inside. I often wanted to study up that myself, what we have inside us. And that family physician, I 
I could always hear his voice talking when his room was crowded and watch him. After that, I pretended I had a coolness on with her over him because he used to be a bit on the jealous side. Whenever he asked, who are you going to? And I said, over to Flowey, and he made me the present of Byron's poems and the three pairs of gloves, so that finished that. I could quite easily get him to make it up any time. I know how I'd... Even supposing he got in with her again and was going, was going out to see her somewhere. I'd know if he refused to eat the onions. I know plenty of ways. Ask him to tuck down the collar of my blouse, or touch him with my veil and gloves on. Going out, I kiss, then would send them all spinning. However, however, all right, right we'll, we'll see then. Let, let him go to her. She, of course, she, of course would only be too, too delighted to pretend she's mad and love with him. That I wouldn't so much mind. That I wouldn't so much mind. I just go to her and I just go to her and ask her, "Do you love him?" And look her square in the eyes. She but he might imagine fool me. he was. But he, but he might imagine he was and make a declaration to her with his flabbery kind of a manner like he did to me. Though I had the devil's own job to get it out of him, though. I liked him for that. It showed he could, it showed he could hold in to be got for the asking. He was, on the he was on the top of asking me, too, the night in the kitchen. I was rolling a potato cake. There's something, There's something I want to say, say, to, you. say to you. Only, Only for I put, put him off, off letting all on. I was in temper. temper. With my hands and arms full of pasty In any case, I let out too much the night before, talking of dreams. So I didn't want to let him know more than was good for him. She used to be always to be always me, Josie. Josie. Whenever he was there, meaning him, of course, glomming me over. And when I said I washed up and down as far as possible, asking me, did you wash as much as possible? The women were always egging on. Putting it on thick when he's there. They know by his sly eye blinking a bit. Putting on the indifferent when I come out with something. The kind he is. Kind he is. What spoils, what spoils him, I don't wonder in the least. Because he was very handsome at that time, trying to look like Lord Byron. I said I liked him. He was too beautiful for a man. And he was a little before we got engaged. Afterwards, though, she didn't like it so much. Day I was in fits of laughing with the giggles. I couldn't stop giggles, about all my hairpins falling out. All oh, my hairpins falling out one after another with the mass of hair I had. They're always in great humor, she said. Yes, because, yes, because it rigged her. Because she knew because what it she meant. Knew what it meant. Because I used to tell her a good bit of what went on between us. Not all, but just enough to make her mouth. That wasn't my fault. She that was my fault. She was much after we were married. Why wonder what she's got like now after living with that dotty husband of hers. She had her face beginning to look drawn and run down the last time I saw her. It must have just been after a row with him, because I saw in the moment she was edging to draw down a conversation about husbands and talk about him to run him down. What was it she told me? Oh, yes, that sometimes he used to go to bed with his muddy boots on when the maggot takes him. Just imagine having to get into bed with a thing like that. That might murder you any moment. What a man. Well, it's, well, it's not, not the one way everyone goes mad. It's not the one way everyone goes Whatever he does, always wipes his feet on the mat when he comes in wet or shine. And always blacks his own boots, too. And he always takes off his hat when he comes up in the street, up in the street like then. And now he's going about in slippers to look for 10,000 pounds for a postcard. Oh, 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 sweetheart, May. Wouldn't a thing like that simply bore you stiff to extinction? Actually, too stupid even to take his boots off. Now, what, now, could, what you could you make of a man like that? I'd rather die 20 times over than marry another of their sex. Of course, he'd never find another woman like me to put up with him the way I do. Know me, come sleep with me. Yes, and he knows that too at the bottom of his heart. Take that Mrs. Maybrick that poisoned her husband. For what I wonder, in love with some in other love man. With some other man. Yes, yes, it was found out on her. Wasn't she the downright she the villain to go and do a thing like that? Of course, of course some, some men can be dreadfully aggravated, and mad, and mad. You know, it's the worst word in the world. What do they ask us to marry them for if we're so bad as all that comes to? Yes, because they can't get on without us. White arsenic she put in his tea. Fly paper, wasn't it? I wonder why they call it that. If I asked him, he'd say it's from the Greek. Leave us as wise as we were before. She must have been madly in love with the other fellow to run the chance of being hanged. Now she, oh, she didn't care. If that was her nature, what could she do? Besides, they're not brutes enough to go and hang over them, surely, are they? Surely, are they? Surely, are they? Surely, are they? They're, all they're also so different. Boiling and talking about the shape of my foot. He noticed it once, even before he was introduced. 
When I was in the DBC with Poldy laughing and trying to listen, I was waggling my foot. We both ordered two teas and plain bread and butter. I saw him looking with his two old maids and sisters and I stood up and asked the girl where it was. What do I care? What do I care? It's rocking And that black clothes breaches me. And that black clothes breaches me by a power to let them down. Wedding all myself. Always with some brand new fad every other week. Such a long one I did. I forgot my suede gloves on the seat behind, behind and I never got after some robber of a woman, and he wanted me to put it in the Irish Times. Lost in the Ladies' Laboratory, DBC, Dame Street. Find a return to Mrs. Marion Bloom, and I saw his eyes on my feet going out through the turning door. He was looking when I looked back, and I went there for tea two days after in the hope but he wasn't now. How did that excite him? Because I was crossing them when we were in the other room first. He meant the shoes that are too tight to walk in. My hand is nice like that. If I only had a ring with a stone for my month, a nice aquamarine, I'll stick him for one. And a gold, and a gold, and a gold bracelet. I don't, I don't like my foot so much. Still, I made him spend once with my foot. The night the after Goodman's botch up at a concert, so cold and windy it was. Well, we had that rum in the house to mall, and the fire. It wasn't black out when he asked to take off my stockings, lying on the hearth rug in Lombard Street West. West. And another time, it was my muddy boots. He'd like me to walk in all the horses' dung I could find. But of course, he's not natural like the rest of the world that I... What did he say? If I could give nine points and ten to Caddy Lanner and Beater. What does that mean, I asked him. I forget what he said, because the stopless edition just passed, and the man with the curly hair and the Luke and Derry that's so polite. I think I saw a face somewhere. I know he noticed when I was in the bottom. So I took my time. Bartell Darcy, too that he used to make fun of. When he commenced kissing me on the choir stairs after I said, I'm going to drop off the name. What are we waiting for? Oh, my heart. Kiss me straight on the brow and part, which is my brown part. He was pretty hot for all his tinny voice, too. My, my low notes, he was always raving about, if you can believe him. I like the way he used his notes. And then he said, it wasn't a terrible like that. I don't see anything, so terrible. Don't see anything so terrible about it. I'll tell him about that someday. Not now. And surprise him, I. And I'll take him there and show him the very place, too, we did it. So now there you are. Like it or lump it. He thinks nothing can happen without him knowing. He had an idea about my mother till we were engaged. Otherwise, he'd never have got me so cheap as he did. He was, he was ten, ten times, times worse himself, himself anyhow, begging me to give him a tiny bit cut off my drawers. That was the, that was that was the evening the coming along in Kenilworth Square. He kissed me in the eye of my glove, and I had to take it off, asking me questions. Is it permitted to inquire the shape of my bedroom? So I let him keep it as if I forgot it, to think of me when I saw him slip it into his pocket. Of course he's mad on the subject of drawers. That's plain to be seen. Always skeezing at those brazen-faced things on the bicycles with their skirts blowing up to their navels. Even when Millie and I were out, that one in the corner that one in the corner right against the sun to see every atom she had on. When he saw me from behind falling in the rain, I saw him before he saw me. I saw him standing at the corner of the Herald's crossroad with new raincoat on him. With the muffler and the zingari colors to show off his complexion and the brown hat. Looking sly boots, boots, sly boots as usual. What was he doing there when he'd no business? They can go and get whatever they like from anything at all with a skirt on it, and, and we're, we're not, not to ask any questions. questions. But they want to know where were you. They want to know where were you. Where are you going? I could feel him coming along, skulking after me, his eyes on my neck. He had been keeping away from the house. He felt it was getting too warm for him, so I half turned and stopped. Then he pestered me to say yes, till I took off my gloves slowly, watching him. He said my open work sleeves were too cold for the rain. Anything for an excuse to put his hand in near me drawers, drawers, drawers the whole blessed time, time. I promised to give him the pair off my doll to carry about in his waistcoat pocket. Oh, oh Maria Santissima, he did look a big fool dreeping in the rain. Splendid set of teeth he had. Made me hungry to look at them, and beseeched of me to lift the orange petticoat I had on with the sunray pleats that there was nobody, he said. He'd kneel down, kneel down in the wet if I didn't. So persevering, so persevering he would, too, and ruin his new raincoat. You never know what freak, you never know what freak they'd take alone with you. They're so savage for it. If anyone was passing, so I lifted them a bit and touched his trousers outside. 
the way, the way I, I used, used to garden her after with my ring hand to keep him from doing worse where it was too public. I was dying, I was dying to find out. Was he, was he, was he, he was shaking like a shaking jelly, like a jelly all, all over. They want, they, want want to do everything they want to do everything too quick. Take all the, Take all the pleasure out of it. And father, and father waiting all the time for his dinner. He told me to say I left my purse in the butcher's and had to go back for it. What a deceiver. Then he wrote me that letter with all those words in it. How could he have the face to any woman after his company manners making it so awkward after when we met asked me have, have I offended, offended you with my eyelids, with my eyelids down of course he saw it wasn't he, wasn't he had a few he had brains, few brains. Not, like not like that other fool Henry Doyle he was always breaking or tearing something in the charades I hate him I'm like a man and if I knew what it meant of course I had to say no for form's sake don't you understand you I said it wasn't it natural so it is of course it used, it used to be written up with a picture of a woman on that wall in Gibraltar, with that, word, that word I couldn't word find anywhere. Only for only children, children seeing seeing children seeing too young and writing every, every morning a letter, letter. Sometimes, twice sometimes twice a day. I liked the I way he made love, love then. He knew he the way to take a woman. When he sent me the eight big poppies because mine was the eight. Then I wrote the night he kissed my heart at Dolphin's Barn. I couldn't describe it simply. It makes you feel like nothing on earth. But he never knew how to embrace well, like Gardner. I hope he'll come, come on Monday, Monday. as he, he said at the same time, time four. four. I, hate I hate people, people who come, come at all hours, answer, answer the door, you think it's the vegetables, and it's somebody, and, somebody and you all undressed, or the door of the filthy sloppy kitchen blows open. The day old frosty face Goodwin called about the concert on Lombard Street, and I just after dinner all flushed and tossed with boiling old stew. Don't, Don't look at me, Professor, I had to say, I'm a fright. I'm a fright. Yes, but he was a real he was a real gentleman's way. It was impossible to be more respectful. Nobody to say, say you're out. out. You have to peep have out to through peep the blind like a messenger boy. Like messenger boy. Today, Today I thought it was a put off first. first. Him sending, him the, sending the port and peaches first. first. And I was just beginning to yawn with nerves, thinking he was trying to make a fool of me. When I knew his tatter at the door. He must have been a bit late because it was quarter after three when I saw the two Daedalus girls coming from school. I never know the time. Even that watch he gave me never seems to go properly. I'd want to get it looked after. When I threw the penny to that lame sailor for England, when I was whistling Home and Beauty, there is when I was whistling, there is a charming girl that I hadn't even put on my clean shirt or powdered myself or a thing. Then this day, week, more to go to Belfast. Just as well he has to go to Ennis. His father's anniversary, the 27th. Wouldn't be pleasant if he did. Suppose our rooms, rooms, rooms in the hotel were beside each other, and any fooling went on in the new bed. I couldn't tell him to stop, I couldn't tell him to stop and not bother me with him in the next room, or perhaps some Protestant clergyman with a cough knocking on the wall, and he'd never believe the next day we didn't do something. It's all very well, a husband, but you can't fool a lover. After me telling him we never did anything, of course he didn't believe me. Now it's better he's going where he is. Besides, how it always happens with him. The time going to the Mallow concert at Maryborough. Ordering, ordering boiling soup, soup for the two of us, then the bell rang out. He walks down the platform with the soup splashing about, taking spoonfuls of it. Hadn't he the nerve? And the waiter after him making a holy show of a screeching and confusion for the engine to start. But he wouldn't pay till he finished it. The two gentlemen in the third class carriage said he was quite right. So he was, too. He's so, he's so pig-headed sometimes when he gets a thing into his head. Good job. A good job. He was able to open the carriage door where it was night, but they'd have taken us on a fork. I suppose that was done out of revenge on him. I suppose that was done out of revenge on him. Oh, I love jaunting in a train or a car with lovely soft cushions. I wonder, will he take a first class for me? He might want to do it in the train by tipping the guard well. Oh, I suppose there'll be the usual idiots of men gaping at us, with their eyes as stupid as ever they can possibly be. That was an exceptional man, that common workman that left us alone in the carriage that day going to house. I'd like to find out something about him. Then you have to look out of the window. All the nicer than coming back. Suppose I never came back. What would they say? Eloped with him. That gets you on on the stage. The last concert I sang that was over a year ago. Over a year ago? When was it? St. Teresa's Hall, Clarendon Street. 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 Little, Little chits of Missy's they have now sing. Kathleen Carney and her like on account of father being in the army. army. And my singing the absent minded beggar, beggar and wearing a brooch for Lord Roberts when I had the map of it all. And Polding not Irish. 
Was it him managed at this time? I wouldn't put it past him. Like he got me on to sing in the stab at Mater by going around saying he was putting lead kindly light to music. I put him up to that, till the Jesuits found out he was a Freemason. Thumping the piano. Lead thou me on. Copy from some old opera. Yes. And he was going about with some of them, sinner friendly or whatever they call themselves. Talking is usual trash and nonsense. He, said, he says that little man you showed me with the neck is very intelligent. The coming man Griffiths. Is he well? He doesn't look at that's all I can say. Still, Still it must have been him. He knew there was, he knew there was a boycott. I hate the mention of their politics after the war that Pretoria and Ladysmith and Bloemfontein, where Gardner Lieutenant Stanley G. 8th Battalion, 2nd East Lancashire Regiment of Enteric Fever. He was a lovely fellow in khaki and just the right height. I'm sure he was brave. I'm sure he was brave, too. He said I was lovely the evening we kissed goodbye at the canal lock, my Irish beauty. He was pale with excitement about going away, or we'd be seen from the road. He couldn't stand properly, and I so hot as I never felt. They could have made their peace in the beginning, or old and Paul and the rest of the other old cougars go and fight it out between them. Between them. Instead, of Instead of dragging on dragging for years, on killing any fine-looking men there were, with their fever. If he was, if he was even decently shot, it wouldn't have been so bad. I'd love to see a regiment pass a review. The first time I saw the Spanish cavalry at La Roque, it was lovely. After looking across the bay from Algeciras, all the lights of the rock like fireflies, or those sham battles on the 15 acres, the Black, the Black Watch, Watch with their kilts in time at the march past the 10th Hazars, the Prince of Wales' owner, the Lancers. Oh, the Lancers, the Dublin's grand. Or the, or the Dublin's Dublin's that went to Dublin. Dublin. His father made his money over selling the horses for the cavalry. Well, he could buy me a nice present up in Belfast after what I gave him. They've lovely linen up there. Or one of those nice kimono things. I must, I must buy a mothball like I had before to keep in the drawer with them. It would be exciting going around. Around with him shopping, shopping. buying those buying things, things in the new city. city. Better, Better leave this ring behind. Want, want to keep turning and, turning, turning and turning to get it over the knuckle there. Or they might bell it round the town in their papers or tell the police on me. But they think we're married. Oh, let them all go and smother themselves for the fat lot I care. He has plenty, he has plenty of money. He's, money. he's not a married man. Somebody, somebody, better, somebody get better get at that. If I could find, 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 find out whether he likes me. Out whether he likes me. I looked a bit washy, of course. When I look close in the hand glass powdering, a mirror never gives you the expression. Besides, scrooching down on me like that all the time with his big hip bones. He's heavy, too, with his hairy chest for this heat. Always having to lie down for them. Better for him to put it into me from behind. The way Mrs. Maschansky told me her husband husband made her, like the dogs do it, and stick out her tongue as far as ever she could. And he's so quiet and mild with his tingating sither. Can you ever be up to men? The way he takes them. Lovely stuff in that blue suit he had on. And stylish tie and socks with the sky blue silk things on them. He's certainly well off. I know by the cut his clothes have and his heavy watch, but he was like a perfect devil for a few minutes after he came back to his stop us, tearing up all the because he lost 20 blazes because he lost 20 He said he lost over that outsider that won, and half he put on for me on account of Glenn Hens' tip, cursing him to the lowest cursing him to the lowest pits, that sponger. He was making free with me after the Glen Cree dinner, coming back. That long jolt over the feather bed mountain after. The Lord Mayor looking at me with his dirty eyes. Thou Dylan, the heathen. I first noticed him at dessert when I was cracking, and I was cracking the nuts with my teeth. I wish I could have, I I wish I could have picked every morsel of that chicken, chicken, chicken out of my fingers. It was so tasty, so tasty and brown and brown as tender as anything. anything. Only for I didn't want to eat everything on my plate. Those forks and fish slicers were hallmark silver, too. I wish I had some I could easily, I could easily have slipped, slipped a couple, a couple of them up when I was playing with them, than always hanging out of them for money in a restaurant with a boot you put down your throat. We have to be thankful for our mangy cup of tea itself as a great compliment we notice in the way the world is divided. In any case, if it's going to go on, I want at least two other good chemises for one thing. And, but I don't know what kind of drawers he likes. Drawers he likes, not at all, I think. Didn't he say? Yes. 
and half the girls in Gibraltar never wore them either, naked as God made them. That Andalusian singing her Manola, she didn't make much secret of what she hadn't. Yes, and the second pair of silkette stockings is laddered after one day's wear. I could have brought them back to the brought them back to the lures this morning and kicked up a row and made that one change them, only not to upset myself and run the risk of walking into him and ruining the whole thing. And one of those, those kid-fitting corsets I want. Advertised cheap and the gentle ones. With elastic gores in the hips. He saved the one I have, but that's no good. What did they say they give a delightful figure line? 11-6, obviating that unsightly broad appearance across the lower back to reduce flesh. My belly is a bit too big. I'll have to knock off the stout at dinner. Or am I getting too fond of it? The last they send from O'Rourke's was as flat as a pancake. Larry, he makes his he money, makes money easy. Larry, Larry they call him. The old mangy parcel he sent at Christmas. A cottage a cake and a bottle of hogwash he tried to palm off as claret that he couldn't get anyone to drink. God spare his spit for fear he'd die of the drought. Or I must do a few breathing exercises. I wonder if is that anti-fat any good. Might overdo it. The thin ones are not so much the fashion. Now garters, that much I have. The violet pair I wore today. That's all he bought me. The check he got on the first. Oh no, there was the face lotion I finished the last of yesterday that made my skin like new. I told him over and over again, get that made up in the same place and don't forget it. God only knows whether he did after all I said to him. I'll know by the bottle anyway. If not, I suppose I'll only have to wash in my pits like beef tea or chicken soup with some of that apopanax and violet. I thought it was finer to look coarse and hold a bit. The skin underneath is much finer where it peeled off there on my finger after the burn. It's a pity it isn't all like that. And the four paltry handkerchiefs, about six in all. Sure you can't get on in this world without style. All going in food and rent. When I get it, I'll lash it around. I tell you, in fine style. I always want to throw a handful of tea into the pot, measuring and mincing if I buy a pair of old brogues itself. Do you like those new shoes? Yes, how much were they? I have no clothes at all. The brown costume and the skirts and jacket and the one at the cleaners. Three. What's that for any woman? Cutting up this old hat and patching up the other. The men won't look at you, and the women try to walk on you because they know you've no man. Then with all the things getting dearer every day for the four years more I have of life up to 35. What am I at all? No, I'm... What am I at all? I'll be 33, I'll be 33 in September. In September. Will, September. I, what, will I? What? Oh, oh, well. Look at that, oh, Mrs. Well, look at that, Mrs. Well, she's much older than me. I saw her when I was out last week. She was a lovely woman. She was a lovely woman. Was a lovely woman. Magnificent. She was a lovely woman. Magnificent head of hair on her, down to her waist, tossing it back like that, like Kitty O'Shea in like Grantham Street. First thing I First did every morning, every morning to look across, see her combing it as if she loved it and was full of it. Pity I only got to know her the day before we left. And then this is the Lion Tree, the Jersey Lily the Prince of Wales was in love with. I suppose he's like the first man going on roads, only for the name of a king. They're all made one way. Only black man did. Like to try. A beauty up to, what was she, 45? There was some funny story about the jealous old husband. What was it at all? An, an oyster knife? He went... No, he made, no, he made her wear a kind of tin thing round her. And the Prince, and the Prince of, Wales. of Wales. Yes, yes, he had, yes, the, oyster he had the oyster knife. knife. Can't, can't be true a thing like <laughs> can't that. Can't be true a thing like that. Like, like some of those books, books he brings me. The works of Master of Francois, Francois somebody. somebody. Supposed to be a priest. About a child, a child born out of her ear because her bum gut fell out. A nice, a nice word for any priest to write. And her A blank blank E. As if any fool wouldn't know what that meant. I hate, I hate that, that pretending, pretending of all things. things. With, With that, that old blackguard's face on him, anybody can see it's not true. true. And, that and that ruby, ruby and fair tyrants, tyrants he brought me that twice. Me that I, remember, that twice. When I, I, remember, when I remember when I came to page 50, the part about where she hangs him up out of the hook with a cord flagellate. Sure, there's nothing for a woman in that. All invention. Made up about drinking the champagne out of her slipper after the ball was over. Like the infant Jesus in the crib at inch and core in the blessed virgin's arms. Sure, no woman could have a child that big taken out of her. And I thought first it came out of her side, because how could she go to the chamber when she wanted to? And she a rich lady. Of course she felt honored. His royal highness was in Gibraltar the year I was born. I bet he found living there two ways around the tree. 
he planted planted more than that in his time. More than that in his time. He might have planted, might have planted me too if he'd come a bit sooner. Then I wouldn't be here as I am. He ought to chuck that Freeman with the paltry few shillings he knocks out of it and go into an office or something where he'd get regular pay. Or a bank where they could put him up on a throne to count the money all the day. Of course, he prefers plottering about the house. So you can't stir with him any side. What's your program today? I wish he'd even smoke a pipe like father to get the smell of a man. Or pretending, or pretending to be mooching, mooching about for advertisements when he could have been in Mr. Cuff still. Only for, what Only for what he did then. Sending me to try and patch it up. I could have got him promoted there to be the manager. Gave me a great marauda once or twice. First he was as stiff as the mischief. Really and truly, Mrs. Bloom. Only I felt rotten simply with the old reddishy dress that I lost the leaves out of the tails with milk coming. But they're coming into fashion. But they're coming into fashion. I bought it simply to please him. I knew it was no good by the finish. No good by the finish. Pity I changed my mind. Pity I changed my mind of going to sodden bums, as I said, and not leaves. It was just like the shop itself. Rummage sale. A lot of trash. I hate those rich shops. Get on your nerves. Nothing kills me altogether. Only he thinks he knows a great lot about women's dress and cooking. cooking. Mathering everything and scouring off the shelves into it. Off the shelves into if I went by his advice, if I went by his advice, every, every blessed hat I put on, does that suit me? That yes, take, take that. that. That's all right. The one like a wedding cake standing up miles off my head, he said, suited me. Or the dish cover one coming down on my backside, on pins and needles, about the shop girl in that place in Grafton Street I had the misfortune to bring him into, and she as insolent as ever she could be, with her smirk, saying, I'm afraid we're giving you too much trouble, what she's there for. But I stared it out of her, as he was awfully stiff, and no wonder, but he changed the second time he looked, pulled a pig-headed, as usual, like the soup. But I could see him looking very hard at my chest when he stood up to open the door for me. It was nice of him to show me out in any case. I'm extremely sorry, Mrs. Bloom, believe me, without making it too marked the first time after him being insulted and me being supposed to be his wife. I know my chest was out that way. I know my chest was out that way at the door when he said I'm extremely sorry, and I'm sure you were. Yes, I think yes, yes, I'm a bit firmer, firmer sucking them like that so long. He made me thirsty. It was pity as he called. Pity as he called. I had to laugh. Yes, this one I'm now sitting in the bed. That's the least thing. I'll get him to keep that up. And I'll take those eggs beaten up with Marcella. Fatten them out for him. What are all those veins and things? Curious the way it's made. Two the same in case of twins. They're supposed, supposed to represent beauty. Placed out there like those statues in the museum. What are they pretending to hide it in their hand? Are they so beautiful? Of course, of course compared with what a man looks like, with his two bags full and his other thing hanging down out of him, or sticking up at you like a hat rack. No wonder they hide it with a cabbage leaf. It's the disgusting Cameron Highlander behind the meat market, where that other wretch with the red head behind the tree with the statue of the fish used to be. When I was passing, when I was passing, pretending he was pissing, he was standing out for me to see it with his baby clothes up to one side. The Queen's own. They were, nice. they were a nice lot. It's well, it's well the Surrey's relieved them. They're always trying to show it to you. Every, every time, nearly. I passed, I passed outside, outside the men's greenhouse near the Hart Street, Street Station and just tried some fellow or other trying to catch my eye, as if it was one of the seven wonders of the world. Oh, and the oh, stink of those rotten places. The night coming home with Poldy after the Comerford's party. Oranges and lemonade to make you feel nice and watery. I went into one of them. It was so biting cold that I couldn't keep it. When was that? 93. The canal was frozen. Yes, it was a few months after. Yes, it was a few months after. A pity a couple of Camerons weren't there to see me squatting in the men's place in Darrow. I tried to draw a picture of it up, like a sausage or something. I wonder they're not afraid going about, of getting a kick or a bang or something there. The, the woman is beauty. beauty. Of course, of course that's admitted. admitted. When he said, when he said I could pose, pose for a picture naked to some, some rich fellow in Fella Street. Street. When he when lost, the job, lost the job and, and, and I was selling, selling the clothes, clothes and strumming in the coffee palace. Would like that bad? Would be like that bad? My hair down. With my hair down. Yes, she's younger. Or my little bit like that dirty Spanish photos. Nymphs. Nymphs. Used they go about like that? I asked him about her. And that word meant something with hoses in it. 
and he came out with some jawbreakers about the incarnation. He never can explain a thing simply. The way a body can understand. Then he goes and burns the bottom out of the pan. All for his kidney. This one not so much. There's a mark of his teeth still where he tried to bite the nipple. I had to scream out. Aren't they fearful trying to hurt you? Aren't they fearful trying to hurt you? I had a great breast of milk with Millie. Enough for two. What was the reason I got a pound a week? He said I could have got a pound a week as a wet nurse. All swelled out the morning that delicate-looking student that stopped in number 28 with the Citron's Penrose nearly caught me washing through the window only for I snapped up the towel to my face. That was, that was his student, student hurt me. They used to weaning her. Till he got Dr. Brady to give me the Belladonna prescription. I had to get, to get him to suck them. They were so hard. Sweeter and sweeter than cows. Then he wanted to milk me into tea. Then, then, then he wanted to milk me into tea. tea. Well, he's beyond well, he everything, I declare. Somebody, somebody, ought somebody ought to put him in the budget. If only I could remember the one half the one half of the things and write a book out of it. The works of Master Poldy. Yes. And had so much smoother the skin. Much, much an hour he was at them. I'm sure by the clock. Like some kind of a big infant I had at me. They want everything in their mouth. All the pleasure those men get out of a woman. I can feel, I can feel his mouth. mouth. Oh Lord, I must stretch myself. I wish I wished he was here or somebody to let myself go with. And come again like that. I feel all fire inside me. Dream it. Or if I could dream it. When he made me spend the second time, when he made me spend the second time tickling me behind, I was coming for about five minutes with my legs round him. My legs round him. I had to hug him. I had to hug him. Lord, I wanted to show him all sorts of things. Fuck or shit or anything at all. Only not to look ugly. Those are those lines from the strings. Who knows the way he'd take it? You want to feel your way with a man. They're not all like him. Thank God. Some of them want you to be so nice about it. I noticed the contrast. He does it and doesn't talk. Does it and doesn't talk. I gave my eyes that my eyes that hair a bit loose from the tumbling of my tongue to my tongue between my lips. Up to him, the savage brute. Thursday, Friday, Friday, Saturday, Saturday. Oh Lord, I can't wait till Monday. Wait till Monday. Train somewhere. Whistling with strength, those engines have in them. Like big giants in the water, rolling all over and out of them all sides. Like the end of love's old sweet song. The poor men that have to be out all the night for their wives and families in those roasting engines. Stifling it was today. It was today. I'm glad I burned the half of those old Freemans and photo bits. Leaving things like that lying about, he's getting very careless. I threw the rest, threw the rest of them up in the WC. I'll get him to cut them tomorrow for me instead of having them there for the next year. To get a few pens for them. Have him asking, have him asking where's last January's paper on all those old overcoats I bundled out of the hall. Making the place hotter than it is. The rain was lovely and refreshing just after my beauty sleep. I thought it was going to get like Gibraltar. My goodness, the heat there before the Levanter came on black this night. And the glare of the rocks standing, the the rock the rock standing up in it. Compared with the big giant compared with their three rock mountain, they think it's so great. With the red sentries here and there, the poplars. And they all white hot and the smell of the rainwater in those tanks. Watching the sun all the time, weltering down on you. Faded all, that lovely frock father's friend Mrs. Stanhope sent me from the B. Marsh Paris. What a shame, my dearest Dogarina, she wrote on it. She was very nice. What's this her other name was? Just a PC to tell you I sent the little present. I just had a jolly warm bath and feel a very clean dog now. Enjoyed it. Wagger. She called him Wagger. Would give anything to be back in Gibraltar. And here you seem waiting and in Madrid. And Colony is the name of the last one of those new. He bought me one of those new some word I couldn't make out. Amusing things, but tear for the least thing. Still, they're lovely, I think, don't you? We'll always think the lovely teas we had together. Scrumptious currant scones and raspberry wafers I adore. Well now, dearest Dogarina, be sure and write soon. Kind she left out. Regards to your father, also Captain Grove. With love, yours affectionately, Hester. XX. She didn't look a bit married. Just, just like a girl. He was years older than her water. He was awfully fond of me. When he held down the wire with his foot for me to step over at the bullfight at La Lena, when that Matador Gomez was given the bull's ear, these clothes we have to wear, whoever invented them, expecting you to walk up Killiney Hill. 
Then, for example, at the picnic, all stays up. You can't do a blessed thing in them in a crowd. Run or jump out of the way. That's why I was afraid when that other ferocious old bull began to charge the Benderieros with the sashes and the two things in their hats. And the brutes of men shouting, Bravo Toro! Sure, the women were as bad in the nice white men's he is, ripping all the whole insides out of those poor horses. I never heard of such a thing in all my life. Yes, he used to break his heart at yes, me. Yes, he used to break his heart at me taking off the dog barking and that lame poor brute, and it's sick. What became of them ever? I suppose they're dead long ago, the two of them. It's like all through a mist. It makes you feel so old. So old. I made the scones, of course. I had everything all to myself then. A girl, Hester, we used to compare our hair. Compare our hair. Mine was thicker than Mine hers. Was thicker than hers. She, showed she showed me how to settle it at the back when I put it up and what's this else? How to make a knot on a thread with the one hand. We were like cousins. What age was I then? The night of the storm, I slept in her bed and she had her arms around me. Then we were fighting in the morning with the pillow. What fun. He was watching now whenever he got an opportunity. At the band of the Alameda Esplanade when I was with Father and Captain Grove, I looked up at the church church first, and then at the windows, then down, and our eyes met. I felt something go through me like all needles. something go through me like all needles. My eyes were dancing. I remember after, when I looked at myself in the glass, hardly recognized myself. The change. He was attractive to a girl, in spite of his being a little bald. Intelligent, intelligent looking. Disappointed and gay at the same time. He was like Thomas in the shadow of Eshlidiet. He had a splendid skin from the sun and the excitement like a rose. I didn't get a wink of sleep. It wouldn't have been nice on account of her. But I could have stopped it in time. She gave me the moonstone to read. That was the first I read of Wilkie Collins. East Lynn. I read the shadow of Eshlidiet. Henry Wood. Henry Wood. Henry Dunbar by that other woman I lent him afterwards with Mulvey's photo in it. So as you so see, I wasn't without. And Lord Lytton, Eugene Aram, Molly Bond she gave me by Mrs. Hungerford on account of the name. I don't like books with a Molly in them. Like that one he brought me about the one from Flanders. A whore. Always shoplifting anything she could. Cloth and stuff and yards of it. Oh, this blanket is too, is too heavy on me. That's better. I haven't had even one decent nightdress. This thing gets all rolled, rolled under me, besides, besides him and his fooling. Well, that's better. That's better. I, used I used to be weltering then in the heat. My shift, shift drenched with the sweat stuck, stuck in the cheeks of my bottom on the chair. When I, when I stood up, up, they were so fattish and firm. And when I got up on the sofa cushions to see with my clothes up, and the bugs, and the tons, bugs, of, them tons of them at night, and, and the mosquito nets, I couldn't read a line. Lord, how long ago it seems? Centuries. Centuries. Of course, they never came back, and she didn't put her address right on it either. She may have noticed her walker. People were always going away, and we never... I remember that day with the waves and the boats with their high heads rocking and the smell of ships. Those officers' uniforms, Those officers uniforms on shore leave made me seasick. He didn't say anything. He was very serious. I had the high-button boots on, and my skirt was blowing. She kissed me six or seven times. Didn't I cry? I believe I did, I believe I did or near it. My lips were tatering when I said goodbye. She had a gorgeous wrap of some special kind of blue color on her for the voyage, on her for the very peculiarly to one side like and it was extremely pretty. It got as dull as the devil after they went. I was almost planning to run away and mad out of it somewhere, whenever easy was we are. Father, father or aunt or aunt or marriage. marriage, marriage. Waiting, always waiting, always waiting. Guide him, guide him to me. Guide him to nor speed, waiting, nor speed his flying feet. Their damn guns, damn damn guns, guns bursting, bursting and booming all over the shop, the especially, especially, especially the Queen's birthday, and throwing everything, and throwing everything down, down in all directions if you didn't open the windows when General Ulysses Grant, whoever he was or did, supposed to be some great fellow, landed off the ship. An old sprog, the consul, that was there from before the flood dressed up. Poor, Poor man. man, and he in mourning for the sun. Then the same, then the same old, old bugles and reveille in the morning, and drums rolling, and the, un and the unfortunate poor devils, devils of soldiers walking about with mess and smelling the place more than the old long-bearded Jews in their jellies, and Levites assembly, and sound clear and gunfire for the men to cross the lines, and the warden marching with his keys to lock the gates, to lock the bagpipes, only Captain Groves and Father talking about Rourke's drift, and Plevna. And Sir Garnet 
Wolseley and Gordon at Khartoum, lighting their pipes for them every time they went out. Drunken old devil with his grog in the windowsill. Catch him leaving any of it. Picking his nose trying to think of some other dirty story to tell up in the corner. But he never forgot himself when I was there. Sending, sending me out of the room on some blind excuse, paying his, paying his compliments. The bush, the bush whiskey, whiskey talking, talking, of course. course. But he'd do the same to the next woman that came along. I suppose he died of galloping drink ages ago. The days, the days like years. Not a letter from a living soul. Except the odd few I posted to myself with bits of paper in them. So bored sometimes I could fight with my nails. Listening to that old Arab with one eye, his hey one time. hey 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 all my peppermints on your window. Even in the opposite house, at medical in Hollis Street, the nurse was after. When I put on my gloves and hat at the window to show I was going out, not a notion what I meant. Aren't they thick? Never understand what you say. Even you'd want to print it up on a big poster for me. Not, Not even if you shake hands twice with the left. He didn't recognize me either when I half frowned at him outside Westland Row Chapel. Where does their great intelligence come in? Come in, I'd like to know. Gray matter. They have it all in their tail, if you ask me. Those country gougers up in the city arms. Intelligence. They had a damn sight less than the bulls and cows they were selling the meat. And then the Coleman's bell, bell that noisy bugger trying to swindle me with the wrong bill he took out of his hat. What a pair of paws and pots and pans and, pans and kettles to mend. Any, any broken bottles for a poor man today. And no visitors or post ever. Except his checks or some advertisements. Like that wonder like that sent him addressed. that wonder work address sent him addressed. Dear madam, only his letter and the card from Millie this morning. See, she wrote a letter to him. Who did I get the last letter from? Oh, Mrs. Oh, Mrs. Dwen. Now, now, what possessed her to write from Canada after so many years? To know the recipe, to know the recipe I had for Madre Flowey Dillon, so she wrote to say she was married to a very rich architect. If I'm to believe, all I hear with an eight rooms. Her father was an awfully nice man. He was near 70. Always good humor. Well, now, Miss well, now, Tweedy, Tweedy Miss Gillespie, Miss Gillespie there's, there's the piano. The that was a solid that silver was a coffee, coffee service he had, too, on the mahogany, mahogany sideboard. sideboard. I'm dying, dying so far away. away. I hate people, I hate people have that have always their poor story to tell. Everybody has their own troubles. That poor Nancy Blake died a month ago of acute pneumonia. Well, I didn't know her so well as all that. She was Flowey's friend more than mine. Poor Nancy. It's a bother having to answer. He always tells me the wrong things, and no stops to say like making a speech. Your sad bereavement, sympathy. I always make that mistake. And new few, with two W's in. I hope he'll write me a longer letter the next time. It's a thing he really likes me. He really likes me. Oh, thanks be to the great God I got somebody to give me what I badly wanted. Put some heart up into me. You've no chances at all in this place like you used long ago. I wish somebody would I wish somebody would write a love letter. His wasn't much. And I told him he can write what he liked. And I told him he could write what he liked. Yours, Yours ever, ever Hugh Boylan in old Madrid. That stuff silly women believe love is. Sighing, I am dying. Still, if he wrote it, I suppose there'd be some truth in it. True or no, it fills up your whole day in life. Always something to think about every minute, every moment. See it all around, around you like a world. world. I could, write I could write the answer in bed to let him imagine me. Short. Just, Short. A, few Just a few words. Not those, Not those long cross letters Addie Dillon used to write to the fellow that was something in the four courts that jilted her after, out of the lady's letter writer, when I told her to say a few simple words he could twist. How he liked not acting with precipitancy, with equal candor, with the greatest earthly happiness. Answer to a gentleman's proposal and affirmative. My goodness, there's nothing else. It's all very fine for them. But as for women, they might as well throw you out in the bottom of the ash pit. Mulvey's was the first when I was in bed that morning and Mrs. Rubio brought it in with the coffee. She stood there standing when I asked her to hand me and I pointing at them. I couldn't think of the word, a hairpin to open it with. 
Ah, Horkia, disobliging old thing. And it's staring her in the face, with her switch of false hair on her and vein about her appearance, ugly as she was. Near eighty or a hundred her face amassed her face wrinkles. With all her religion domineering because she never could get over the Atlantic fleet coming in. Half the ships of the world and the Union Jack flying with all her carabineros, because four drunken English sailors took all the rock from them. And because I didn't run into Nass often enough, I sent her Maria to please her with her shawl up on her. Except when there was a marriage on. With all her miracles of the saints and her black, blessed virgin with a silver dress, and the sun dancing three times on Easter Sunday morning, and when the priest was going by with the bell, bringing the Vatican to the dying, blessing herself for his majesty. And admire the sign. I near jumped out of my skin. I wanted to pick him up when I saw him follow me along the Calle Real. In the shop window. Then he tipped me just in passing. But I never thought he'd write making an appointment. I had it inside my petticoat bodice all day, reading it up in every hole and corner while my father was up at the drill instructing to find out by the handwriting of the language of stamps. Singing, I remember And I wanted to put on the old stupid clock to near the time. He was the first man kissed me under the Moorish wall, my sweetheart under the Moorish wall. It never entered my head what kissing meant till he put his tongue in my mouth. Never entered my head what kissing meant till he put his tongue in my mouth. His mouth was sweet like young. I put my knee up to him a few times to learn the way. What did I tell him I was engaged for? For fun? To the son of a Spanish nobleman named Don Miguel de la Flor. And he believed me that I was to be married to him in three years' time. There is many a true word spoken in jest. There is a flower that bloometh. There is a flower that bloometh. A few things I told him true about myself, just for him to be imagining the Spanish girls he didn't like. I suppose one of them wouldn't have him. I got him excited. He crushed all the flowers on my bosom he brought me. He couldn't count the pesetas and the paravortas till I taught him. Capoquin, Capoquin he came from, he said, on the black water, but it was too short. Then the, day then the day before he left, May. May. Yes, it was May. Yes, yes it was May. May. When the infant king of Spain was born. I'm always like that in the spring. I'd like a new fellow every year. Up on the tip top under the rock gun near O'Hara's tower. I told him it was struck by lightning, and all about the old Barbary apes they sent to clap him without a tail careering all over the show on each other's back. Mrs. Rubio said she was a regular old rock scorpion, rock scorpion. Robbing, the robbing the chickens out of the Insis farm, and throw stones at you if you went anear. End of section 18A.